how to do the settings of uh, phase ferry relay this is the one of the phase ferry relay for Snyder uh, see like this here line 1 and line 2 and line 3 so in here we are we are given to supply for three phase supply R Y B any of the terms because of these are the three terminal three terminals having a three phase supply we are going to give a three phase supply this three phase supply going to compare in the inside for symmetrically coming or not then here the according to the three phase supply here the relays are switched on the three phase supply is coming for correctly or not then only the a relay switches are switched on this is for function then how to we are doing the settings of this relay just see here uh, the voltage ranges will be available in here 220 380 420 420 like this then the another one up is having a uh, over voltage that means the over voltage percentages are available in here up to 20 percentage uh, to we change in here then another one thing we are available for under voltage knob this under voltage knob also we are going to change up to 20 percentage uh, 2 percentage to up to 20 percentage we are going to change in here then symmetrical knob the symmetrical knob is a very important to uh, adjustment because of this a uh, symmetrical knob will going to compare the three voltages like this R and Y and B the three voltages are the symmetrical knob going to adjust and adjust to and compare to switch on the relays then the fourth knob is timing uh, how much time to switch it on like this this is only having a only for 10 seconds 0 0.1 to 10 up to 10 seconds in here having in here this is for basic one phase failure relay so the same similar to another phase failure relays also available in market uh, just uh, i am explained for schneider that's all if you have any doubts please come on here thank you hi guys now we are going to see phase failure relay phase failure what's the function of phase failure relay Suppose we have a three phase motor, any of the three phase machine is supplying for three phase supply. Suppose in here cut off the any of the one or one phases, that time also this motor is running continuously. This cases this motor uh, insulations and the bindings are damaged. So we are going to prevent this, these are the things. So that's why we are make some uh, some control units are here that's that's that one is phase failure relay see here three phase supply it going to here then make some conductor this conductor having a phase and neutral for auxiliary supply so now we are put a phase failure relay three phase supply and the control terminals are here for common NO and NP. So this is for phase failure relay terminals. Now how do we make for this control diagram like this? Phase here for conductor conductor neutral this, this is also need for neutral then this is this one having a three phase supply and need for phase voltage phase for common this one for NO Suppose the three phase supply is coming for properly at the time of the phase failure relay switch on this relay then the conductor got a supply and that conductor supply to the motor. So in here any of the phase will be going to cut at the time the phase failure relay giving a signal to 
switch off the signal for connectors main supply then the motor will going to shut down this is the purpose of phase theory relay and having a some uh, settings also phase theory relay first one is voltage how much voltage you are setting for like this 400 voltage 415 440 415 like this how many voltage we are going to set in this phase theory relay and the uh, sensitive sorry cement synchronization synchronization means uh, uh, at the phase shifting we going to compare in here then timing when it's going to switch on like this one second three seconds and four seconds like this and then over voltage and under voltage that's all guys if you have any doubt please comment here Thank you.